What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I would like to share some very useful tips and tricks for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users. I will not be touching good luck in this video. That would definitely require a separate video to talk about. But in this video, I will be sharing all the tips and tricks within the One UI system itself. So this video is going to be very, very exciting. Keep watching the video, do not skip it. You'll be learning a lot in this video. Now we all know that on the lock screen, we get to select two different shortcuts at the bottom. We can press and hold on the lock screen, unlock it. We get to the customization menu. This is where we select two different shortcuts. And most of the applications which you set on the lock screen will ask for the password when you try to open it. Now let me show you an example. Now here I have selected Google News. If I try to open it, it will ask me to open the phone or unlock the phone and then only I'll be able to access this application. Now instead, we have got a few useful applications which can be set on the lock screen and we can uh, access it without even unlocking the phone. For example, I've set the calculator here. I can open the calculator. I don't have to unlock the phone to access this application. Likewise, let's say if I set the voice recorder, let me just set, set voice recorder application here. I have set voice recorder. Now let me show you what happens. When I try to open the voice recorder on the lock screen, we can start recording it right away. I can tap on this button to record it right away. I don't have to unlock the phone, but if you want to access the saved recordings, you will have to unlock the phone. It says tap the lock icon to unlock your phone and view all your recordings. Let me do this again. You see, I can record the voice but I cannot open the recordings. We will have to unlock the phone for recordings. But if you want an instant access to call recorder without unlocking the phone, you can set. Likewise, there are a few other applications which can be set on the lock screen and you don't need password or uh, you don't have to unlock the phone. Next, let's say you are inside the gallery and if you want to drag a specific image and save it on the Galaxy Notes, you can do that. You can just press and hold on an image, just drag it and go to the home screen, open the Notes application, and open a new note and just drop it over here. And here it is. You can see I just dragged an image from the gallery and dropped it on a note which can be saved right here. That's a brilliant feature, isn't it? Now let's say you're inside the gallery with an image open. You can see on the top right, you get to see this eye icon by tapping on which you will access Bixby Vision. And at the bottom, we get discover option which will show us similar images here. And then we can search for wine and uh, we have got text here by tapping on which, by selecting which you can copy the text from the image and we do have translate option as well. You can see we have got copy all text, select text, we have got auto uh, recognition of the text and then we can translate it and we'll also be able to download once it is done. Now this is possible through Bixby Vision within the gallery application. You might have overlooked it. This feature is available on Samsung Galaxy phone. Next, did you know that you can share your location with your friends and family on Samsung Galaxy phones on Samsung's own Find application? Let me open Samsung Find here. Now here you see we have got three different tabs, devices, items and people. We'll be able to find our lost devices here. And if you select people here, tap on plus button and you will be able to add the contact number of a specific person, a family member or a friend who has got the Samsung Galaxy phones with Samsung Find enabled on his device. And you will be able to get the live location of that particular person, which will show up right here on my phone. Now that's a great feature just in case if you want to share your location with others or others want to share their location with you, you will be able to do that right on Samsung Find application. Just make sure both the parties have got Samsung phone with Samsung Find application on the device. Next, Samsung recently added medication reminders on Samsung Health application, which is a brilliant feature. Let me open Samsung Health application. Here you can see we've got an option called medicine. Just open that and you will be able to set your medication details right here on your device. And once you set it up, you will get reminded of your medications by Samsung Health application, which is fantastic. Next, if you're a gamer, Samsung offers a brilliant feature called Pause USB Power Delivery. This is available on the Gaming Hub. Let me open a Gaming Hub here. I'll tap on this three dot button and tap on Game Booster. This is where you will see Pause USB Power Delivery when gaming. What happens here is, if you connect the USB power delivery charger to your phone while gaming, the phone will consume the power directly from the power brick 
instead of consuming the battery power from the phone's battery. Thereby increasing the lifespan of the battery, it says to prevent overheating, bypass the battery when a USB power delivery charger, programmable power supply compatible 25 watt or higher is connected and the battery is over 20%. So this will prevent the overheating and it will increase the lifespan of the battery because the power is consumed directly from the power uh, source, not from the phone's battery. Now this will get enabled once you connect a power delivery cable. So if you're a gamer, this is a fantastic feature. Next, let's come back to the lock screen here. Now on the lock screen, you can see I have set different wallpapers. Every time I uh, double tap on the lock screen, I will be able to uh, see a different wallpaper. You see, I have got various different wallpapers which I have set on the lock screen and this is customized by me. So let me show you how you can do that. Let me press and hold on the lock screen, tap on a uh, wallpaper here. Now here, we will be able to select multiple wallpapers from the gallery. Let me open gallery here. Now let's say I open a few wallpapers here. I'll select a few of them here. I'll select eight of them here, tap on done. And all these eight wallpapers will be available. You see, we have got uh, items shown here, eight items. I'll tap on this. And if you want to remove any of the items here, you can remove it. And if you want to add furthermore, you can tap on plus button and add a few more wallpapers here. Once done, just tap on done. And all these wallpapers are now available on the lock screen. Every time you double tap or uh, every time you uh, try to unlock the phone, you will see a brand new wallpaper on your lock screen. So that is another feature that you can look at on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Next, if you rock an S Pen on your Galaxy phone, you will be able to easily sign your documents without needing to take a print of the document and then sign it and then scan it back again. For this, all you need to do is just open Samsung Notes application. Let's say if you've got a PDF file on your device, just tap on a new note, tap on plus here and tap on PDF. Now here it'll take you to your storage from where you'll be able to add a PDF file. Now for example, let me just add the specific file here tap on done. Now this is a PDF file which I just added. Now on this, I will be able to sign it by using my S Pen. You can obviously use your finger to sign it, but that will not look good. So you will, if you have a S Pen, it is gonna be perfect. Now on this PDF file, what I'll do is, I will select a specific pen here, and then I will just sign it. While signing it, I'll just zoom into this particular PDF. You see, I just signed on this document, it is done. I can just save this document and send it to whoever I want. So that is how you can sign the documents very easily if you have an S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy phones. Next, let's talk about organizing the applications on your home screen. Let's say you want to drag these five applications to this area here. You don't have to drag and drop this uh, one by one. All you need to do is just press and hold on a specific application, tap on select and select multiple apps at one go and then just drag all of them, just press and hold on it to drag all of them to the area you want to drop, just drop it right here. This is sitting right here. I will just do this again, select, select all of them and then you can also press and hold on the area where you want to drag it and just drop it there. That's a very easy way to organize your home screen. You can also select all of them and move it to another page here. Let me just press and hold on this. I will go to another page here using other finger and I can just drop on this here. Now this is a fantastic uh, way of doing or organizing the applications on the home screen. You see, it's so easy and so simple, so quickly it can be done. Next, Samsung recently integrated the reminder application inside the calendar application, which means you'll be able to now set reminder within your calendar application, which will show up right here. Now I'm on One UI 6.1. Uh, when I go to the menu here, you will see this reminder option. When you tap on reminders, here you will see the reminder icon. You can create a reminder. Now, let's say if you want to get back to your calendar, calendar mode, what you can do is you can just tap on year or month, uh, let's say December month. Now you'll be able to get this plus icon by tapping on which you can create an event. So both the options are there. Now this is on One UI 6.1, but on One UI 7, you can just press and hold on this icon to get two icons here, two options here, reminder or calendar. You will be able to set either of them. So you don't have to use reminder application separately. You can do it right here within the calendar application. Next, inside the gallery application, you will have multiple different folders. And if you want to make any of these folders private and lock them, you can do that on your Galaxy phones. For that, you need to first go to the uh, hamburger menu and tap on settings. Go all the way down, enable gallery labs. To enable this, tap on about gallery and keep tapping on version number multiple times. You will enable a uh, gallery labs here that will be sitting right here after contact us. 
just open Gallery Labs. I've discussed about all these features in my previous videos. There are some fantastic hidden features inside Gallery Labs. And here I'm only talking about rocking the albums. You can see if you go down here under oneui 5.0 you can see Album Entry Locks. You can just enable this. Once an album is locked, its contents are not shown on Pictures and Albums tab. Tap on OK. I have enabled it now. I can just go to the gallery. Let me open this particular gallery here or let's select this gallery. I will tap on this three dot button. We have got lock album. I can just tap on lock album. This is completely locked now. Anybody having an access to your phone will not be able to see anything inside this album. You can tap on this to unlock it. They will need the authentication. So only you will be able to unlock this album. And once it is unlocked, if you want to uh, remove the lock, you can tap on three dot button, unlock album and it is done, it is visible right here and it can be accessed. Next, let's say if you're browsing something on the internet and if you take a screenshot of it, let me just take a screenshot here. Now this screenshot is available inside the gallery. Since it is a web screenshot, when you open that specific screenshot, you get this go to website option right here. So that website link is also embedded on the screenshot. You can just tap on the screenshot again. You will see go to website, just tap on that. It will directly take you to the internet or the web browser from where you have captured this screenshot. So anytime you take a screenshot on a browser, Remember, the link is also embedded on that screenshot. You will be able to get an access to that specific web page whenever you open that screenshot inside your gallery. The next step is interesting. Let's say you get a notification and you open the notification panel. Now, you can just press and hold on that specific notification to drag it and open it in pop-up view or in split screen view. Let me just drop it here. Now the messaging application is opened in a split screen view and you can select any other applications, the most recently used applications or any applications in the other half of the screen. Let me do this again. I get a notification. I want to see this notification in the split screen view. Then all I do is press and hold on it, drag it and open it in pop-up view or in split screen view. That is just fantastic, isn't it? Next, we all take a lot of screenshots on the Samsung Galaxy phones and it is very difficult to search for a specific screenshot when you have it inside the gallery. Now, let me open gallery here. You see, I have got so many screenshots over here and it becomes very, very difficult to uh, you know, search for that screenshot. So what you can do is, whenever you take a screenshot, let me just take a screenshot on the screen. Now, here you get an option tag. Just tap on this tag or hashtag icon you will get some suggested tags here and you can create your own tag. Let's say this is the home screen. I'll just, I'll just type home screen here and tap on plus. Now home screen is added and you can also see many other tags which are here. Uh, it has picked up all these tags from the, uh, the screenshot itself automatically. It says One UI home, mobile phone, screenshot, timetable, Bengaluru, raining, camera. So all this data is available on the screenshot. So that is suggesting these tags. You can select any tags that you want here. Or if you have a specific tag that you want to create, like I created home screen, I selected it and I have tapped on save. Now inside the gallery, I can search for home screen here. You see it is showing me the hashtag here. I'll just tap on this. That home screen screenshot is right here. This is just brilliant. You need to do this every time you take a screenshot or you can also do this for any other images, not just for the screenshots. Let's say I have got this image here. I can just create a tag here. You can just swipe up and tap on add tag. You see at the bottom, we've got add tag option. Tap on add tag. You can see some suggestions here. Gallery, cat, dog. I'll just tap on cat tap on save and that tag will be available on this particular image and it is very easy to search that image using that tag. Next, let's say you have deleted multiple images inside the gallery applications and when you have deleted it, you can go to the recycle bin within the gallery application to delete all of them further. And let's say you have deleted some uh, images or videos or files on my files application, you can again go to the recycle bin right here and delete all those images. But did you know that we can delete all those uh, deleted items from the gallery as well as from the Samsung Files application right here on the Files application itself? Let me show you where it is. When you open Samsung Files application, just tap on Manage Storage here at the bottom. And then again, you will see Recycle Bin here. Just tap on that. Here you will see the Recycle Bin from My Files, Gallery, Messages, Samsung Notes, and Calendar. We will be able to delete all these items not just from my files or gallery, from any other applications, any other Samsung app as well. So it's very easy to clear all the items from the recycle bin using Samsung's My Files application. The next tip is interesting. Let me uh, take my S Pen out here. Now let's say you've got an S Pen and you have opened the gallery here. 
you can just hold the S Pen on a specific image. Let's say on this image, I can hover it. And you see, we get share option and delete option right here on the top. I don't really have to open this image and tap on delete and delete it. All I can do is just hover this uh, S Pen on a specific image. You get both share and delete option right here. If you want to delete this image, you can tap on delete. If you want to share this image, you can tap on share. So it's pretty easy to do that if you have an S Pen within the gallery application. Next, if you want to share your Wi-Fi with somebody else, you don't really have to know the password. You might have already forgotten the password that you're using on your phone. And you might want to share that Wi-Fi with somebody else and you don't remember the password. Then what you can do is just go to the Wi-Fi settings here. Uh, you have already connected with this specific Wi-Fi. You just have to tap on details. Here you will see the connected network. Tap on the settings button and here you will see the password or instead what you can do is you can tap on this QR code, unlock your phone and you can ask the other person to just scan this QR code. He will be able to quickly connect it without needing a password. You can also share this QR code if you want and you have one more option, share network, just tap on this. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, you can just select the phone that you want to share this network with and the other person is good to go. So that is something which you can consider if you want to share your Wi-Fi network with somebody else. Next one is a very, very important tip for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users. If at all you are planning to format your phone or let's say completely erase all the data and you want a way to back up your phone, then you don't really have to struggle backing it up on an external device. All you can do is just go to the settings, tap on general management, tap on reset. Now here you get temporary cloud backup from Samsung. Backup unlimited data to Samsung cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. Now we really have to thank Samsung for offering this specific feature. We can back up unlimited data, which means whatever you have on your phone can be backed up on Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days, not just for one or two days. You can back it up for up to 30 days and then retrieve it from this account. This is a crazy feature which Samsung offers and really thanks to them for doing this. Uh, so I think you guys should know this. You can also back it up using this external storage by tapping on this option, or you can also use Smart Switch to back up your data to another phone or another device. These are some incredible features which are available on Samsung Galaxy phones, and I thought I would share all this with you guys in one video. I will be posting a few more videos like this so that you will know your phone better. So all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and become a part of this growing community so that you stay updated with all the features, tips and tricks, updates uh, about your Galaxy phone phone and I also post contents on Samsung Galaxy watches and anything related to technology so go ahead subscribe and yeah do not forget to hit that like button I would really appreciate that thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye